Hey everyone, it's Alan over at Cobblers Plus and uh, doing a live stream. Finally got everything reopened up uh, with all the craziness. It's, uh, you know, might be a hit and miss and everything. But before my time runs out here at the shop, I decided to make a quick live stream and uh, give you guys a little bit of a shop tour of the place. Um, you know, so Jason unfortunately already left for the day. We got uh, Spencer, our hack guy, and Janelle's still here. Cassie's still here, so we got a handful of people still here. But uh, I thought I'd show everyone around. So, as soon as you walk into the door there, on the right-hand side, we've got uh, Spencer's hat bar area. Does steaming, cleaning of hats, and reshaping, and working on a couple of custom-made hats as well over there. A red one. I think you're doing a red fedora with that one, or what was it on the red one? Yeah, it's a red fedora. It's a red fedora. Yeah, so, got some cool hats and everything. Got the Longhorns on there for him. Got our orthotic lineup. We've got the Needs, Cadence, uh, Spenco, Taco. Dropped a few of them. Um, that, I mean, because we don't do much orthopedic work. Hello, Lil Lane. All right. So we've got some of our shoot trees. It looks like we're running low. We need to get some restock in there. Got that big uh, python snake skin there. Got the shoes, at least some of them that are ready. Yes, I know those plastic shelves are horrendous. We are getting rid of them. It's gonna take a little bit. Um, so definitely, definitely gonna have to work on getting rid of those. It's gonna take some time. Got Chanel over there. Yep, she's over at the shine bar. That's where Jason was working there. Next to that, we've got uh, the, well, the shine stands right there. Ta-da. Got the Saphir Medal Dior over there. I need to add a few more shelves so that we can put a few more things up. Got the Petty picture just for Saphir. Hope everybody at Saphir likes that. Avil, the company, the parent company. Hope they like that. Fits well. Oh, and step and men's boots. Well, we like to use the Rochester brand. Uh, the Woodlore aren't bad either for sure, but Rochester is my personal pick. Um, so that was just a question in the comment there. And then we've got a little bit of odds and ends there next to the shoe shine stand. We've got the Saphir Beauty to Cure products there. Oh, someone's phone's ringing. Got our sample area of our soles up here. Not all the soles are up yet. We've got a couple missing. And then we've got our... Is it connected? Sorry, lost connection there, dang. Yeah, that chair will be replaced. It's not permanently secured on the on the shine stand. It's actually got a couple of little mounts on the back to hold it in place, and we designed it in such a way so that we can lift it off of there as well. Yeah, phone's going off everywhere. Got a little coffee area. Got my old sewing machine that I grew up using. That's an old Singer. Sentimental to me. Going to be replacing those chairs and tables there. That was kind of what we had at the moment. But I want to show everyone this. Pretty cool. Ferrari of Denver. We got a shoe slide as our bookmark in it. But look at that. Got some Justin Fitzpatrick's in there. Some Louboutins. Got the Saphir Medal Dior, JR, and Day Night logos. And got the Saphir Pate Deluxe. So, yeah. Right next to some Ferraris and their catalog for 2020. That was cool. Right? All right, so uh, there's Spencer back there working on a hat. There's Sebastian trying to be safe there. All right. Oh, before I give you the rest of the shop tour, I know this is taking a little bit longer. What did you drop there? You dropped something. Thought I'd uh, let you guys know we're going to do a little bit of a giveaway on YouTube here. As well, we just did our Facebook one, same thing. We're going to do a little bit of uh, Pate Deluxe. Saphir Medal Dior, a uh, shoe slide there, and a shine chamois. So make sure to hit that thumbs up button, comment down below. Let's say, uh, just comment uh, reopening or grand reopening, one or the other. We'll just pick a random winner. But we've got a few laces here. We've got the colored ones up there. Now we're going to come back here. We've got one of our sewing machines. These are 
gonna be shoes that are worked on back there. Hopefully those shells will be gone. This is one of our newer machines that we're gonna be tuning up, getting fixed up. Come back around here real quick. There's Spencer stitching. Yep, we've got our stitcher there, our clay patch machine. This is one of our newer walking foot machines that we picked up, at least new to us. Yep, we got that Saphir. Thank you, thank you. Got the uh, table there for being able to cut stuff. It's kind of packed up with a few tools and everything. We've got our curved needle machine here. That's what we do for the outsole stitching. And got all the colored threads there. I think we're the brown and the beige were the ones that are loaded up into the machines at the moment. But if you need a different color thread on your soles that you want to stitch, you could definitely do that. Our Blake stitch machine, that's the one that's got the red in it right now. Come around here, bandsaw, got JR leather soles over there. Some day nights up top, the red ones. So we still got a little bit of things to do, but it's coming along. And some nailers here. Those are called auto sole nailers. We had lunch, sorry, I haven't quite cleaned up yet. Yes, we do have the graffiti sole. Let me grab that real quick. Walk back slowly without tripping. We got the graffiti sole. Ta-da. Actually, I haven't had a pair where somebody wanted them quite yet. They, they, everyone's going after the basic stuff. But uh, that's Big Bertha, my toolbox workbench. Got a couple of presses back there. These toolboxes here are going away. Um, they're just here during the whole move and everything. Our heel wheel, our other press there, our other workbench with the five and one. Got our shine area there with uh, the two machines for buffing. A spray booth. We got some ventilation going up there into the ceiling. So, got uh, the two sanders with uh, work that needs to be worked on. We got some John Lobs there, some Justin Fitzpatrick's, Magnani's, a couple of Luke Casey's. Um, oh, those are Red Wings up there. Can't remember what those other boots up there were. But... Don't forget those black cherry giant, baby. Yeah, well, you're talking about the ostriches? Oh, that's right. The giant gators, okay. Look at that. Luke Casey's. I'm not sure how I feel about the double stitch on a pair of Luke Casey's, though. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. If you wear Western boots, I have no idea. Oh, yes. This is the last of the Kiwi we had. I found it. I'm going to make some kind of crazy scene of me throwing it out. That's the only reason why I'm hanging on to it. Because I want to make a crazy scenario of me throwing it out. Oh, yep. Yeah, we got the soles there. Got the red door with the Tabasco sauce picture. I love that picture. My wife, Cassie, does not like it. So, yep. Yeah, we've got uh, sprays and dyes and all that over there. This is the other entrance way to the work area I thought I'd show you there. Am I walking too fast? I don't know. Hope I'm not walking too fast. My hands are getting a little tired and shaky. What is best everyday exotic cowboy boots? Every day? Oh, that's hard to tell for sure. I, personal preference, I mean, Stingray is going to hold up fairly well, but I would say Cayman. Cayman's definitely what I would say if you're going to want to do something closer like an everyday, that would be a better pick. But still cleaning up back here. We're waiting on the bigger fridge too. This is our kind of kitchen area, our office area. Yeah, definitely a lot better to have this area here. Say hi, Cassie. Hi. That's my wife, Dare. And then coming around this way, we've got uh, a couple of washers and dryers, another sink there. So we're hoping to get into being able to do a little bit more with those there. But yeah, you know, that's kind of the shop. We still have to get the rubber mats in on the floors. And uh, again, these plastic shelves we're hoping to get rid of and put up something a little bit nicer and more space efficient. But it's coming along. I hope everybody's uh, enjoying it you know, so far. Thank you. All right. So let me flip this back around. Don't you know saying bye-bye? All right. Now I'll flip it back around. 
Hope everyone's enjoyed it so far, a little bit of a walkthrough of that. So again, if you uh, want a chance to win, I'm facing myself. Spencer's trying to wave by. See you guys. All right. Yeah. But anyways, if uh, if you guys want a chance to win that little giveaway of the Saphir Pate Deluxe Wax and the Medal Dior line, as well as a shoe slide and a chamois, just uh, hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, uh, reopening or grand reopening, and uh, we'll pick a random winner. Uh, let's uh, let's say by uh, Monday night, if you guys want to do that Monday night. That way I can uh, make sure I pack it all up and uh, get it shipped out on Tuesday for you. But uh, thank you all for watching. I'm looking at the wrong side. We have many years of... Uh, thank you very much, Tom. You know, we're excited. Finally got it all set up. A lot of other plans for the near future. And uh, I got a little... Oh, hair sticking up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're, we're coming along pretty good here. And uh, hopefully uh, if you're local here in the Denver area, I know with a lot of the chaos going on nowadays, it's busy time of year and all sorts of stuff. Um, swing on by, check it out. Uh, you know, we're still trying to get everything figured out as far as the exact days that everyone's coming in. Uh, Jason, um, we're figuring out which days are working. I think he's coming in Wednesdays and Saturdays here and maybe do some private sessions on Sundays. Spencer also. Spencer, what days are you going to be coming in? Do you know yet? I will be here Saturday, Sunday, and possibly Friday, guys. From what times? Early. Early. Nine to five. Not a little bit later. Ah, I love hearing that. The guy keeps coming in late. <laughs> he missed a shoe shine from from Jason today because that uh, Jason was too tired afterwards. <laughs> okay, I think I might have to shine his shoes guys. now. Yeah. Still broke down. Almost yeah. Got yeah. It was a blast. Yeah. It's been a fun morning this far. Charge Jason big bucks to be here. Man, come on. We're partnering up here. Spencer and Jason and I, we're all working together. Thank you very much for all the great comments, everybody, all the great wishes, and I hope everybody, uh, everyone's doing well out there. You know, if you're a cobbler, business is doing good. If you're not a cobbler and whatever you're doing, hope everyone's doing great. And again, swing on by. If you're here in the Denver area, if you're visiting us, definitely swing on by. And if you're uh, you're in Greenwood Village, yes, you better you better come by. Come on, we got coffee, we got chai tea. But yeah, but hopefully as time goes by, the place kind of evolves and looks a little bit nicer more and more. And uh, we got events coming up and everything. So definitely keep an eye out. Uh, go to our website, cobblersplus.com. Uh, um, you can get all the info on there whenever we're having any kind of events or anything. We haven't been posting the last couple of weeks just because of the whole grand reopening and moving around. And it, yeah, it's been kind of hectic. Yeah. But uh, everyone, thank you for watching, and uh, we hope to see you all next time then. All right. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's, he waved back there. I also. did. Welcome yeah. to our gigantic right. dysfunctional family. Yeah. All right. We'll see everyone later then.